my mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in all the land? Wait, before you answer that, we have guests. Hello, my little birds. Welcome to the channel and Disney Month. Body positivity, it's a trend at the moment. Accepting your flaws, calling them beautiful, showing the world that you're not perfect, just like them. But unlike them, you've accepted it. In fact, you jiggle it around on social media, making your audience believe that you believe that you are at peace with the part of you that isn't conventionally attractive. And then you bank off of it. <laughs> I love it! Use your flaws for your own benefit. Lie that you love it and then bank off of it and get absolutely rich. Baby, yes! Now that's what I call a grade A villain. Ooh, I quiver with fear. Well, something like that has happened, my little birds. A very beautiful body positive princess from another land has been exposed for not being so body positive and people are going absolutely mad got the raw image of that photo duplicated it and I photoshopped the other one um, and I did a bunch of stuff to it to make myself look better look more acceptable look more pretty get more attention get more people to like me get more kids I don't know I just I just did it because isn't that why people edit their photos so my little birds take this Apple I picked just for you and enjoy the tale of Princess Karina and how she got exposed for doing the very thing she fought against. And now people all over the land believe she's not as beautiful on the inside or the outside. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Disney Month. Check out my new Disney inspired merch if you would like to match with me this Disney Month on my channel. Or a free way of supporting this channel is simply hitting the subscribe button and leaving me a comment that would truly make you beautimous. Karina Irby is a 33 year old influencer who has found much success on TikTok and Instagram by showing a real woman's body. And how does she do this? Through dancing. Jiggling and smiling while doing it. Yeah, it's kind of her signature dance move. Karina started by posting body positive before and after shots. What's that you ask? What is a body positive before and after picture? Well, let me explain. Most people's before and after pictures or after picture consist of them losing a certain amount of weight, eating less and working out, maybe putting on more muscle mass. A body positive after picture is showing that you gained weight. This method skyrocketed Karina's following as fighting against thinness in general and accepting larger bodies, whether they are healthy or not. Keep your feed, hashtag, real this summer. It makes me so sad to know that some girls would hate to see a photo of themselves looking like this and they definitely wouldn't post it. Me on the other hand, I love this photo of myself. I think I look glowy, healthy, and happy. I hope more and more women can post more hashtag real, candid, unposed, and unfacetuned content of themselves. Don't be part of the problem, be a part of the solution. But you know the internet and opinions. Everyone has them, especially on the internet. And in Karina's situation, she likes to name them and shame them publicly. Just puked after seeing this atrocious, despicable piece of skin. My goodness, sorry, but you look disgusting. I'm your age and don't have a body like that. You're disgusting. Every single day it gets worse. According to Karina, She's even gotten death threats because of her cellulite. Okay, but serious question. Why won't I show off my cellulite, belly, eczema? I receive a lot of hate when the other women who post similar content only receive positivity and praise. Don't get me wrong. I see all my positive comments and love you all, but the amount of negative opinions, death threats, and judgments is truly insane. My comments can be toxic and my DMs have been flooded with the most vile words. All because of what exactly? My cellulite? So I'm posting this once again to stand up for myself and everyone else out there who is getting attacked for being themselves. I could easily just stop posting and get upset about it, but that's not who I am. Karina became a huge body positive influencer and an inspiration to many women across the internet because she always spoke up for herself. She was confident. She wasn't thin, didn't hide those curves, and always fought against women using Photoshop on the internet on things like cellulite or making your waist smaller because things like that was not very body positive. And we should all love the flaws that we have on our face or on our body. You might think I'm talking about my nose. Rude, I love my nose. Gives me the whole Gabby Hanna type thing. Talking about my hair. I've gone past the gray, it's damn near white now. Oh no, I love this schnoz. If I could kiss it, I would. But Karina was extremely body positive about everything on her body, but a huge advocate 
for just accepting the cellulite. Reasons you should never let cellulite hold you back. Everyone has it, no one is looking. Actually, everyone's looking at yours because, I mean, you posted it. Beach days in bikinis, life's too short, missing fun opportunities, cute fashion you know you wanna rock. Everyone else is so caught up in their own business, they're not even worrying about you. Once I embraced my lady bumps and stopped worrying how I looked, life really opened up for me. Rena was also a huge advocate for bloating and normalizing the bulge of the gut. According to her, it's natural, it's normal, there's no need to Photoshop your true self. And this cheery but no nonsense and real attitude attracted hundreds of thousands, millions of women. I love you, you promote real body. The caption is the reason I follow you. Thank you for doing this. I was having a rough body day, but now you've made me feel a bit more confident in myself. Look at this video I found here. Finally, a real and jiggly glute workout. Karina Irby. This wasn't even a glute workout. Whoever posted this is just stupid and horny. But my point is, is that many people liked her because they find her relatable. And yes, she gets a lot of hate from random people, very upset that she's a confident woman and does not hide her cellulite or curve or fat. And the fact that she's child free. People do not like that. They critique that part of her life very heavily. Many people get upset when you see a woman doing her own thing, not wanting kids and not trying to have kids and not upset or depressed about it. And who would want children anyway? They're loud, messy and younger than me. I thought I killed you. But she obviously gets a lot of praise for being authentic, showing her real body and embracing every bit of herself and showing it off in a bikini. Karina got such a high following that she started her own bikini line named Moana Bikini. It quickly gained popularity and of course Karina's bikini line represented exactly what she stands for on Instagram. Members of the Moana army support, empower, inspire, and motivate each other. We are at the forefront of a positive movement of female empowerment and inclusivity centered around the utilization of social media as a positive force for change. But then many of Karina's followers' hearts shattered. Shattered like my mirror when it showed the real me. Why? Oh, oh, because Karina started losing weight. Wait, wait, wait. Not eating sugar and the most frightening posting before and after pictures. Not the body positive one. Ones that showed her very body positive audience that she lost weight. Smaller, tinier, skinny. <laughs> She became the very thing that her audience hated, and I'm living for it. Now, as many people were very into her posts and interested into her new diet, where she said that she cut out a lot of sugar, many of the comments were extremely disappointed. These comments are crazy. We didn't follow this for a diet account. We followed her for that girl in the first photo, the realness of her, not for before and after posts. I thought she was back when she put the cellulite photo on, but clearly not. Diet culture is sad, so sad she's changed, and not as real now, and I can't believe my eyes. She is posting before and afters. <laughs> watch them melt, watch them fall, watch them crumble while they fall. Oh, how we love the chaos. Unfollow bullshit diet culture. We don't need to cut out sugar or carbs out of our diets. They serve a place. This content is disappointing. You can talk about these benefits without body shaming, which is how this comes across. Being defended by people with fat phobic comments is the advice for all other followers who want to unlearn fat phobia to just unfollow. It was very unfortunate. First to Dell, then Rebel, and now the chick that jiggles her butt on Instagram have succumbed to diet culture. Who's next? Lizzo. I am waiting for that one. And I have to say, Karina proved a few things that one, she started posting about how bloated she was. Many people told her to maybe go to the doctor as it doesn't seem normal to be that bloated. Karina took it as hate and decided to fight back against the trolls. But if you take a look at her recent before and after picture, if you can stomach it, I know how hard work makes people sick these days, but she says that she rarely ever gets bloated after changing a few things in her diet. She also can't do her very popular fart videos with her husband anymore. Yeah, that was another way she got popular. Once again, people said she was very real. And two, that eating better and watching the food that you intake is actually very beneficial and you can see results. So we see why many of the body positive activists had problems because it doesn't fit their rhetoric of absolutely no food is bad and obesity is just a genetic issue and you can't fight it. So thank you, Karina. I will now use you as an example in many of my future videos. Well, speed up a few weeks later, Karina's followers that stayed through the anti-sugar and the before and after picture debacle would be broken once again. In comes a man named Goo. Karina 
Serena's dancing, cellulite, and empowering messages toward women got her a huge following. But a huge boost came from when she started photoshopping her pictures and exposing herself in hopes to show women everywhere don't believe everything you see on Instagram. But my message was for all those young girls out there that are following girls that do those Insta girl edits and they compare themselves and they go, oh my god, like, why don't I look like that? Like, why is her body so perfect? Why is her skin so smooth? Like, blah, blah, blah. So the main reason I wanted to do a reality verse Photoshop is just so I can show you guys that not everything you see on social media is real. Well, recently someone exposed Karina, the body positive queen of Photoshopping her picture to be slimmer. And it wasn't Karina, it was Goo, Gooby. I don't know why his name is Goo. The only thing I think can think of is Goob, or I don't know the backstory on this. But if anyone knows, you know I'm nosy. So let me know. Goob underscore U2 is a photographer and known to expose many types of people on his Instagram. Grown adults who are disgustingly attracted to children. It's a disturbing update to the story of Pasha Knight. Just to recap, Pasha runs nudism.tv. It's a nudist website, which is totally fine, but for the fact that they have photos of naked children on their website. And to make it even weirder, Pasha offers $700 an hour for footage of families that are willing to film themselves naked, families including their children, and send it into Pasha for his website. He calls it sponsoring them and even mails free GoPros out to these families that are willing to do it. Makeup influencers. So many scammers and thieves in the fitness world. Here's a fun one from the beauty community. Welcome to the show, Chloe Waters. MMA stars like Conor McGregor who Photoshop a beer in his hand. Conor, what are you doing, my friend? Come on. Conor. Forged Irish stout in your hand while you're out sunbathing, really? The shadows aren't even right. The light's not hitting it, bro. You edited this can into your hand, buddy. I am so confused by why he, did they pay you to do this? Anyway, something else Goob exposes is Photoshop's pictures, usually among the buff and muscular. How unfortunate, somebody that has made it to the highest level of bodybuilding, the Mr. Olympia stage, is editing his photos Welcome to the show, Corey Morris. But recently, Karina's photo and message caught his trained eye. This has to be the biggest amount of hypocrisy I've ever come across in doing these stories. Welcome to the show, Karina Irby. So this is Karina Irby, 1.2 million followers. She owns the Moana Bikini Company. But she's really well known for making posts like this where she encourages girls to not edit their photos and not edit their cellulite out. Here's another one. And here's a post where she's actually poking fun at girls that Photoshop their photos. And in the caption she says, no joke, people are still editing their photos like this. She says, be the change you wanna see. I am the change I wanna see, let's get into it. So why am I saying she's a hypocrite? Well, Karina, it looks like you pulled your waist in on this one. If we draw this red line down from the slat, this should be farther over than it is here. And in this photo, I couldn't help but notice the metal in your shower's bending. I added some red lines, but you can see right here where it moves out and then moves back in up top because you edited your ass to be bigger. In this photo, I'm not sure what happened to this poor Land Rover, but that dimpling in the metal, definitely not up to code. Here's one in the shower. That shouldn't be bent. Remember this photo? Look in the corner. That doesn't look right. Maybe there's a reference photo. All right, here we go. Now let's zoom and compare. You cooked it. You cooked it. The corner's bent. This one's fucking hilarious. She warped this poor kid's head to make her waist smaller. Let me show you. Before the kid's head got caught in her Photoshop vortex. And then you can see she like egghead the poor kid over here. Karina, I'm disappointed in you. You've built an entire brand on being real, but you aren't real. Your captions talk about how you understand how dangerous this is for a body image, and then you do it anyway. Do better. The post goes viral. The body positive hypocrite, the news outlets would say. So what does Karina do? Apologize? Ignore it? Send a cease and desist letter to a news outlet that shared the story? No, she sends a crease and desist letter. We already have a Karina update. So did Karina own up to her wrongdoings, admit that it's hypocritical for her to tell other women not to edit when she herself edits and post an apology? Well, no, she blocked me and she threatened to sue an Australian news outlet for reposting my story. Technically, she said she would send them a crease and desist. Maybe that's a sneaker terminology. Maybe she means cease and desist, not sure. And then she also sends a message to Gooby. But before she blocked me, she sent me this message. She said, my old edits are my past and I'm not proud of them. However, I always had a drive to help women, including myself. Old edits. You know, she makes this sound like it's some mistake she made years ago, eight hours ago. Here's a photo she posted. Now, if you look at this photo, something seems kind of weird here. 
is this supposed to be a door or something? Maybe we have another photo of the room. Thankfully, my intern Ashley Mintz found this photograph on her profile. So we see the door and we know that it's straight. Okay, so she's standing approximately like right here. So if we put a ruler on the door up here, we should be able to see only door here, but we don't because she pulled her waist in several inches. See Karina, this is why I do what I do. This is one of your old employees. She found out that you were editing photos you were posting of her. She felt ashamed. Ashamed that you didn't think that her body was good enough to be posted the way it was. How do you get off making posts like this? Girls, let's keep it raw. Don't smooth out your cellulite. Don't edit anything. When you are editing your shit. Garden variety shit fluencer. Get out of here. And when that didn't work, she has her lawyer send him a crease and desist letter. I'm sorry, a cease and desist letter this time. Where the lawyer strongly suggests to not circulate this among the internet. Yeah, he instantly screenshot it in, uh, and shared it with his hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Villain behavior, I say. Or is he a savior? Depends on who you're talking to. The letter demanded that on May 11th, 5 p.m. EST, he will halt any other exposed content on the client or the other option is if Goob wants to continue to talk about his client. Goob has to run it by Karina's lawyer before he posts it. If he rejects these options, then Karina will see him in court in Australia. Gooby ain't in Australia, and also, Gooby's a lawyer or studied law, something like that. He knows the law. So the crease and desist or the cease and desist letters didn't work on him. A lot of people use these letters to scare people from talking or exposing them. I'm pretty sure Brittany Dawn allegedly threatened a lot of YouTubers who covered her story with a cease and desist letter, not a crease and desist. Good thing she didn't send that because that would make her even more of a joke, but she did send, said, but she did threaten that she was going to sue people talking about her public case. But yeah, much like people who talk about Brittany Dawn, Gooby continued to do exactly what he wanted to do with the Karina problem. Two days after the initial call out, what does Princess Karina do? Apologizes, says, oopsie, uh oh, I made a boo boo. Uses the mean comments to play the damsel in distress. So then she can get sympathy points and maybe a knight in shining armor will come running through and rescue her. And then she can move on and jiggle in the sunset. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. Do you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. I'm just kidding, that's not what it said. Do you want the truth? I'll give you the truth. Knowing some will manipulate, twist, and use it against me anyway. Have I edited my photos before? Yes. Have I talked about the stories before? Yes. Have I felt the pressure to be accepted online? Have I and do I struggle with mild body dysmorphia? Yes. Do I get brutalized, picked apart, harassed, bullied, and judged online every day? Yes. Unless you've walked a day in my croc. Wait a minute, what? A croc wearing princess. How dare you be more beautiful than me and wear those upon your princess feet? Disgusting. You gotta wear happy feet from Walmart. Unless you've walked a day in my crocs, you don't know what it's like to wake up to endless comments and messages about how fat, disgusting, and ugly you are. Now at 11, years to that. 4,017 days. 11 years of people giving you their opinion of your body and what it should look like. Kill yourself. The world would be a prettier place. Keep eating. You'll be like your dad in a wheelchair. Gross. Your skin looks like a disease. Is that shit contagious? Cry me a river, you're probably thinking. Trust me, I've cried you an ocean. Every day I learn to love and accept myself more, but the internet is the problem. You're brutal. You're all so brave behind your screens, creating whatever narrative gets you the most hits. But do I edit every piece of content I post? No. Have I drastically morphed my body to look completely unlike my own? No. Regardless of my occasional edits, my raw, honest, transparent videos show you more than what you need to see of my body. You know exactly what it looks like. And I do have to say, she posts a lot of videos showing her real body. But she is the one that calls out people for using Photoshop or saying you shouldn't use Photoshop and then you use Photoshop. That's what that's what people are upset about. But we will read on. You know my scars, my jiggles, my tummy, my face, my skin, my everything. I don't even get me started on my TikTok account. If anything, some of my content is too raw for me. But I feel the need to show you and it's okay if your body doesn't look how people tell you it should. Just like you, I have good days and bad days, but every single day I'm getting a little bit stronger, a little bit braver, and it's something that I will continue to work on. I'm so sorry if any of this has upset you. My love, support, and messages has always and will always be the same to love yourself endlessly. Try not to listen to haters and to make somebody smile every day. Before you come after someone and try to burn them at the stake, practice having an open mind and a kind heart before lighting the hay on fire. Oh, no one's, okay. Some people clapped, some people praised, 
many people on Goop's side was like, nope, this isn't, this isn't it. You are deflecting. So what's going on now? Nothing. I haven't seen any recent updates when it comes to Goop. He's, he's over on his Instagram world posting about fitness frauds. And Karina, well, she's dancing in front of her dad. and telling women to just take that picture. Let me show you how I take photos of myself. Okay, I know how that sounds, but sometimes we honestly just need to remind ourselves how gorgeous we truly are. And today is one of those mornings. So this is my bedroom balcony, and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of spots where I do put my phone up. It just depends on what type of lighting I want to work with. Backlit if I want to get my pityriasis and remind myself how cute my spots really are, or for more just general body positive stuff. I literally set my phone up on my bed and I just pose around like an idiot for God knows how long. This process is so much more than just taking photos. It's truly about letting your head out and just having fun with yourself. Just completely letting go and feeling so good in your own body. Please just trust me, get some cute outfits and do the same. And thank me later. And that is the story of the body positive hypocrite that got called out by the goo. What is your guys' opinion on this? Do you Photoshop your pictures? I don't personally mind a slight Photoshop. I personally didn't think it was a huge deal. We've seen her videos. We kind of know what she looks like already. She seems to be very open where she has very bad days and maybe she's having a bad day when she posted that and wanted to make her waist smaller. But it's very interesting that she didn't, I don't know, uh, attack the elephant in the room. The fact that she's talked about not using Photoshop before. So sometimes when I see these young girls comparing themselves to other um, fake images online, it just kind of breaks my heart because I just want to go give them a big hug and be like, no, you are gorgeous. Like, you're beautiful. And she is a anti-Photoshop, body positive, embrace everything on your body, be real type influencer. I feel like there would have been a simple way of getting out of this if she just said, you know what? I was having really bad days or I'm having a bad day right now or for a while and I have been Photoshopping my pictures because I'm very insecure. Just be vulnerable. Vulnerability and being real is your whole stick. So why not just be real about being caught using something you said you didn't use anymore? Like she said, many people are watching her. Many people send her messages. Many tell her that she's ugly, gross. Ew, what's wrong with your skin? And it might have been getting to her. But there's something quite evil about someone who says, love yourself, accept the gut, accept it all, but then changes their photo. And then when caught, they try to play a victim. Well, I guess not everything is as slim or not photoshopped or pretty on the inside as it seems. Oh, and I, I see you finished your apple. Perfect. Night, night. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer A busy and pretty, just making believe Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it up